What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about how to beat man coverage. This is a common question that I get asked by a lot of receivers is, how can I get off the press? How can I beat man coverage? What do I need to do with my feet, with my hands? And that's what we're going to be breaking down today. We're going to be discussing about five different routes that you can that you can learn from, from some of the best to ever do it. So off the line right here, we're going to be looking at a slant. So he gives a little bit of a hesitation move and then a one-two move, double move to get some separation. Let's watch this thing full speed. So hesitation, one-two, accelerates out of this break, then catches is this slant. So now we're going to break this thing down. So off the line right here, I want you to see he takes this left foot and he gives a little bit of this hesitation move right here. Hesitation. Now, what I want you to see is this double move that he does, how well he's pushing off of this left leg. Okay, He's pushing. His cleats are almost coming off the ground right here, guys. And he's turning his shoulders completely to the outside. What does that do? That gets this DB to completely turn his shoulders to the outside, too. We call it opening up the gate. What he's doing is he's selling like he's just going hesitation right now. Foot in the ground, then he's getting vertical by turning his shoulders, having violent shoulders, getting this DB to turn his hips. Now, what he does is he puts this second foot in the ground and he's pushing. As you can see right here, here's a pretty good angle of it. He's pushing off that inside arch of his foot to accelerate out of this break, staying out of this range, getting up into the slant, getting on this 45 degree angle. Now, the mistake a lot of guys make at this point is when they come out right here, they'll snap their head around and then their pad level will stand straight up. And when they stand their pad level straight up, they slow down. But he does a great job of pushing off of that leg, exploding out, accelerating out, pumping the those arms and getting in and out of this route fast, creating some separation, guys. At this point right here, it's just a race to the football. Who's going to get to the football faster? Is it going to be the DB or is it going to be the receiver? Who's going to get out of the break faster? Is the DB going to be able to move from this point and get to the ball quicker than the receiver is going to be able to push off at this outside leg and get to the ball? It's going to be a race. And by accelerating out of this break like he does, puts his foot in the ground, accelerates out, that ensures that he's going to be able to get to this ball faster and look at the amount of separation that he has. That's about five to six yards of separation, accelerates out of this break, catches this ball, makes a move, and then gets up and eventually scores. We didn't see that full part of the clip. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So one, two, accelerates out of the break, pushes off that outside leg, catches this ball, and we're good. Okay, so I want you to focus on the top of the screen here. Guys are going to be looking at Odell versus Jalen Ramsey. This is Odell running an in route right here, a little five-yard in route. This is a great job, honestly, just closing the gap with this DB. Let's watch this thing, right, full speed. So foot fire, sudden stick. Gets flat, about a three yard in, excuse me, not five yards, but that's a great job getting this DB on his heels. So one thing I want to break down is off this line, we call this a foot fire release, where you go fast hands, fast feet. Now what I want you to see at this point, when he's going fast hands, fast feet, I want you to look at Ramsey's feet. He starts chattering his feet right here. He starts giving this foot fire as well. He's coming off foot fire, foot fire, foot fire. That gets him on his heels. He's backing up out of there, and then Odell is able to just put his foot in the ground and explode out, flattens this thing off, and then gets some separation from Ramsey. On first down, there's all the separation we need guys. So he's able to accelerate out of this break, catch this ball, realize his first down, get down, protect himself. That's a great job closing the gap. This DB is kind of in this catch technique right here. Odell's off the ball, so he's got some space to work against this press coverage. So he goes fast hands, fast feet, gets Ramsey on his heels, gets him chattering his feet, flattens this thing out, snaps the head around, catches this ball. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So off the line here, foot fire, close the gap, sudden stick, flatten it out, catch this ball, get down. That's a great job by Odell. Okay, so now we're going to be breaking down Devontae Adams running a fade here. Now, this is one of the releases that Devontae Adams is so good at because he's able to move. He's able to work just having sudden feet, being real patient off this line, getting a read on the DB. Let's watch this thing full speed. So a patient, one, two to the inside, get his hands off, snap that head around when he's got separation. That's a great job off the line by Devontae Adams. So again, much like that first release we saw, we got this hesitation hop right here. So a little bit of a hesitation here. Hesitation. Now look where his eyes go. His eyes go inside to sell like he's just trying to go slant right now. So what I want you to see here is he goes one with the inside foot. Now let's see this foot here. Pushing off that inside arch like we talked about. And again, much like the first clip. Oh, that's my fault. Much like the first clip here. He's pushing off that inside arch, pushing off that inside arch. His foot is almost coming off the ground here. Foot's coming off the ground. He puts that second foot in the ground. Again, I want you to see, look at this shin angle right here. He's pushing off this inside arch like we talked about. That's how you're going to get some separation on a release with your feet, being real explosive, pushing off the inside arch. Now, I want you to look at his upper half. Guys, look how much his head and look how much his shoulders are turning to the inside. What does that do? Lattimore's 
all the way on this outside leg. He's moving his body to the inside. That's what we want. That's what we want to accomplish. We want to sell like we're just going slant right now, pushing off this left leg, going slant, getting him to turn to this inside here. He gets his cleats out of the ground. His feet are in the air. He's hopping. A DB never wants to hop versus press coverage. That's a great job by Devontae Adams understanding this. While he's pushing, the DB's in the air. That's a recipe for separation because he's exploding out. This DB's in the air, and he's working on field. Now, because he slid him so far to the inside, he knows that his left arm is not a factor. So all he knows he has to do is beat this right arm. So what he realizes is that he just has to come underneath, swat his arm off like he does right here, and that's how he's going to get separation. This is a very bad position to be in with one of the best route runners in the NFL. You guys all saw Ocho Cinco crying over how good his routes were, and rightfully so. His routes are some of the best in the NFL, and this is a great job. But not see a lot of guys. What they'll do with this opposite arm is they'll try to come over the top. They'll swing it over the top, and what that does is that exposes this rib cage right here, and this DB is allowed is going to be able to react and pop you in that rib cage and knock you off this route. But because he comes underneath here, he protects his rib cage. Same idea, attacks that wrist to point of control bursts up field now another thing against man coverage guys we don't want to start looking back to this ball right now because again that brings our pad level up and we start to slow down what he does a good job of is getting about three steps and then he snaps his head back around now he's looking for this ball ready for Aaron Rodgers to drop this thing right on a dime he looks he gets some separation first and then he looks because Aaron Rodgers is going to drop this thing in with air he's not going to throw it on a line and he's not going to wait he's going to get this thing up early so he knows he's got time to get some separation Aaron Rodgers knows that he wants to let him get some separation first. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So, hesitation hop, one, two, just playing basketball with him, get those hands off of him, snap that head around. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at A.J. Green here. Again, this is another hesitation hop release and a jab. Now, one thing I want you to focus on is look at this DB. He completely hops to the inside, and he's in midair while A.J. Green is pushing off of this inside leg. So let's watch this thing full speed. So a little hesitation hop, gets that DB to jump, accelerates out. That's why you explode off that inside arch, guys. That's why you explode off of that jab to the inside. So we're going to be here. Takes a little hesitation hop, as you can see. I want you to watch that left foot. Hesitation hop. What does that do? Again, A.J. Green's on the ball here, but he's got some room. He's got some room from this DB. He's going to see how he's playing him. This hesitation hop, all it is is we're gathering info, guys. We're trying to see how is he going to play this, how is he going to play me. So he takes this little hesitation hop, sees that he's on his heels, and he's bailing out of here. That's a great job. A.J. Green, his eyes are right at him. He's getting a read on him. And he makes this jab to the inside. Now, what does that do? He's looking to the inside. He gives a little bit of head and shoulders to the inside here. Head and shoulders, foot in the ground. I want you to see his toes are straight forward. That's another key to getting separation off the line, guys. You want to keep your toes straight forward so it's a shorter hip path when we just push off of this inside arch. Now, what does that do? Gets this DB jumping inside. He doesn't have hands on him here, and he's in midair. While A.J. Green is already pushing off this leg, he's pumping his arms, and he's accelerating off of this break. Too many guys will make a ton of moves off the line of scrimmage. See, this is just a two-step move. One, two. A little bit of hesitation, hop, gets him in the air, and then a lot of guys will just be here, and they'll cruise, and they'll stand straight up. But A.J. Green does a good job of keeping his head straight forward, and he's pumping out of there, pumping his arms, accelerating out of this break. That's a great job by A.J. Green just going here, pumping his arms, accelerating out. Now, again, gets him by about three steps, sees that he's off balance. That's when he snaps his head back around, guys. He doesn't get to this point right here and snap his head around. He knows he has him beat, but let's get some separation first. He knows Dalton's going to be dropping this thing right in the... Dalton's going to be putting some air on this thing and throwing it to his spot. So he gets his head around late after... He, not, I shouldn't say late, but after he's got him for about three steps, makes this catch. He's got to do a better job of keeping his feet, and I think he'll be the first one to tell you that. That's a great job getting separation. All of that was happened because of his release off the line. Getting some, getting a read on this DB, seeing how he's going to play him, getting him hopping inside. Let's watch this thing full speed. Hesitation hop, gets him to jump, snaps the head back around, accelerates out of the break for a great catch. Okay, so now we're going to be breaking down a comeback. One thing I want you to notice about this is I want you to notice Stephon Diggs' speed change, okay? He did, you, anytime we're running a comeback, again, he's inside leverage, so we know we got it. We got to sell the fade. The most important thing is selling the fade right here, guys. That's what we got to sell, especially when we're in the goal line, just a little quick ball for a fade, so let's watch this thing full speed. So he kind of goes slow, kicks up into second gear, snaps that head around, peak technique, catches this ball for a toe. Tap. Now, let's watch this thing. Let's break this thing down. So, off the line, what I want you to see is the reason why a lot of receiver coaches teach, and rightfully so, because this is a proper technique, not to show their numbers, okay? But Stephon Diggs kind of rewired that into thinking, I'm going to show him my numbers right here and pick my pad level up, because what does that do? That makes him think a break is coming. Normally, when we're in open field, we don't want the DB to think that a break is coming, but he does a great job of bringing his pad level up, letting him know something's coming, and he just thinks this one little move to the inside, and he's kicking up, and he's running fade. 
He snaps his head back around. All the DBs thinking right now is, oh, I played this good. He's just going to be running the fade. I played this great. Now, by Stephon Diggs snapping his eyes back around, that even adds to the fact that he's selling it more. It gets this DB to fully commit to this fade. He thinks he played it great. He thinks he's all good. His worst nightmare is getting beat on a fade right now. And then Stephon Diggs is able to change direction fast. That's another key to beating man coverage, guys. We've got to change direction fast, get those two steps in the ground. It took him two steps. I want you to watch it right here. One, two, and he's pushing off of that right leg, as you can see, pushing off of this inside arch. He's pumping those arms. He snaps that head back around to get his numbers squared up on that 45-degree angle. He's accelerating back downhill where he knows Kirk Cousins is going to put this ball, pumping those arms, accelerating out of the break, catch, toe tap. That is all the separation you need, guys. Right here, that's all the separation you need in the red zone, especially at that high of a level for a quarterback of that magnitude to make you pay. And Kirk Cousins is considered an average quarterback. I think he's a great quarterback because he's even at that level. But this is all the separation that you need in the red zone right here, guys. That's all you need to make a big play and to make that thing happen, make a touchdown happen. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Change up the speed, sell the fade, in and out of the break. Slow play, kick up into second gear, snap those eyes around, break down, coming out of this thing for a catch. That's a great job. Let's get a look at this toe tap one more time here. Catch. Toe tap, drag the toe. That's a great job. Okay, so this is going to be a comeback in open space. First thing I want you to notice here, guys, is how good he keeps this pad level for about the first five to seven yards and how well he sells this little power step to the inside, selling like he's running a post. So let's watch this thing full speed. Coming off the line. Sells the post, breaks up into the fade, in and out of the break, three steps. That is so quick on a comeback. Let's break this thing down. So off the line again, I want you to see right here, guys, same pad level. He's got his eyes looking right over this DB's outside shoulder. He's closing the gap with him. That's what you want to do. Now, I want to bring the attention to this power step that he does to the inside here, giving his head and his shoulders to the inside. Now, he knows his goal isn't to get him to bite to the inside completely because he's running a comeback. Now, I mean, if he were to, if he were to open up the gate, the whole reason behind this is so maybe this DB thinks post and he'll speed turn out of there or he'll open up his hips and break to the inside. But I think it's a setup because he sets him up here and he wants this DB to think because he knows he's running a comeback. He wants this DB to think, oh, I played the fade great. And that's just to sell the fade. Anytime you're running a fade and against off coverage like this, man off coverage like this, you want to sell like you're doing a post fake to maybe get that DB inside so you could go right over the top and the quarterback could drop this thing over the top right here. But that's DB thinks right here that he's going to be running a fade, sudden stick. Oh, I played it well. Snap down, get in and out of this break. That's a great job. So snap down, one. Now this first step here is snap down. The key to getting open against man coverage is being real precise with your breaks, being able to get in and out of your breaks as fast as possible. So this snap down right here, he's dropping his hips violently. That's one thing I want you to notice. He's coming real violent coming out, dropping those hips two, three. Now those two, three steps gets his hips angled back down on this 45 degree angle. That's how you get in and out of a break fast. So he comes here, snap down two, three, and his feet are angled at that 45 degree angle. What a lot of guys, the mistake they'll make on this kind of break is their toes will be pointing straight forward. He's rotating those toes to the sideline. He's going to be snapping that head around and he's going to be accelerating out of this break like we talked about because at this point it's a race. The ball's coming here. Who's going to get there? Receiver or is the DB going to get out of the break faster? And the DB doesn't train 20 yards downfield to get out of a break. He snaps his head around. He's coming back downhill fast. He's pumping those arms, catches this ball, toe tap. That's a great job getting some separation on this comeback. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time time so coming off the line here power steps sells the fade in and out of this break three steps accelerates out of the break catches toe taps that's a great job okay so now we're going to be analyzing a double move here this is going to be against a honey badger one of the best dbs in the nfl let's watch this thing full speed so he comes out one two biggest thing i want you to pay attention to on this guys is his upper half okay we're going to take a look the next release the next little clip is the same exact release and we're going to be focused more on the lower half here but i want you to watch his upper half i want you to watch his head and i want you to watch his shoulders it's almost like he's ice skating right now when you're skating you're moving your upper body and then back here. Now what that's what this is selling is he's just kind of coming off the line, closing the gap. He's know he's got some space to work with. He's just selling like he's putting his foot in the ground right now. He's snapping his head, snapping the shoulder inside to sell like he's just going slant right now. Gets this DB to jump to the inside. I want you to see head and shoulders to the inside. Gets this DB. His cleats are out of the ground. I want you to watch right here. Cleats are 
out of the ground while he's pushing off that outside leg. Now, another thing I want you to see, he tries to recover with this off arm. But what he does a great job of, the receiver here, is staying out of that range where he can touch him. He's out of this range. He knows he gets him in the air. He can stay out of this range and cut back to the outside then get upfield for a fade and catch this touchdown. You just got to stay out of that range of the recovery. His feet are super close together. He's accelerating out of the break, snaps that head back around when he got him by three steps. That's a great job getting some separation with this double move. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming off, one, two, avoids the contact, snaps his head around, gets upfield for a touchdown. That's a great job. Okay, so now Westbrook's going to be working the same kind of release here. So coming off the line, he's going first step. What he's doing is he's really pushing off this inside arch. Again, he kind of gives some head and shoulders to the outside, selling like he's just going slant right now. Now what I want you to do is I want you to watch this DB. Let's break this. Let's watch this thing full speed. Jumps to the inside, gets his feet close together, climbs up to the top of the route, sudden stick, still gets his depth. So when he's coming off the line here one two i want you to see how explosive a position he's in he's got his hips low he's pushing off that inside arch his shin angle is going back to the outside the only thing i can critique is his front toe is a little bit open but it works out in the long run because all he did was get this db to jump his cleats are out of the ground we really got to sell with our upper half to get these db to jump inside get his cleats out of the ground get him undisciplined and he works up now see how he's here he knows he got him beat he made him fall he made him look foolish he could just get out of this route right now but he knows that'll screw up the timing with the quarterback so he gets up to his depth he takes this one two three four five steps to the inside still gives a little bit of head and shoulders to the inside here keeping the timing with the quarterback snaps that head back around and then catches this ball for a great job let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming off the line here, one, two, gets him to jump inside, gets up to his depth, sudden stick, catches this ball for a great job. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next, and please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That would really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.